Hi, my name is Guy Ankeny. I've been autocrossing for pretty close to 50 years. And today we're gonna to talk about the balance of the car and how we can get that car more balanced for you so we can make it do more things that you want it to do to make you faster. What I mean by balanced. Balanced is that when you go into the corner, the front end is tracking accurately and precisely where you want it to go. And at the same time, the rear end of the car is staying behind you. It's not flying out to the side as soon as you turn the wheel. When you go through a slalom where you're sliding the car back and forth, this is very hard to do. So you want it to get it to slide a little bit and stop and then go to the next cone and the next cone and the next cone. And that's how you end up going through a slalom very fast, which is, you know, it's change of direction. It's what autocross is built on, change of direction. On all the cars that are stocked now, you want to pretty much maximize the front camber that you can get. This helps the car turn. It keeps you from ruining the outside of the tire. As you can see on this tire, this tire has about uh, five miles driven on the street. Now the tire pressure wasn't maximized, but you can see on the inside, it's all chafed away and, and, and nice and clean, which is what I wanted but the outside hasn't even really been touched. And so that's when you would learn about lowering tire pressures to get the, uh, the tire wear right to, around to the end of this upper shoulder on the tire. If you don't have any camber, you have to go up in tire pressure to compensate. If you do get negative camber, then you would lower it down and you get a bigger footprint. So the car will technically be faster. On the rear, you're not gonna need as much because the, the rear just follows around the front pretty much. So the rear, different things you can do is uh, tow the angle of the tire in relationship. If it's a rear wheel drive, we'll say like a Miata, an ND Miata, you can put a little tow in in the rear and a little negative camber to get more grip in the back, but you've got to balance it. The whole thing is balancing the car so that when you, the driver, are in the car, you're able to get the car to maneuver the way you want it to. Spring rates. Spring rates are super important. Spring rates are the biggest factor in keeping the car flat. A sway bar is a good add-on piece to try to make it flatter. A sway bar is actually built to if you're making a left-hand turn, it's lifting the inside wheel slightly off the ground or unloaded. So the bigger the bar you have, it, it does make the car handle flatter, but it's decreasing the grip on the inside tire. Typically, if you had a front wheel drive car, they have very soft front springs. So you see the car nose dive when you hit the brakes and then uh, it lifts the back of the car up and then the rear end slides out out of control. Or if you're a, a professional driver, that's when you get back on the gas. So stiffer springs in the front will keep the car planted better. It'll keep it on power better. It'll do everything better. When you add sway bars, be careful, unless it's already a kit that somebody has put together and you're confident of their engineering abilities, be careful on that big sway bar but it does help a lot. The things that we've talked about today so far, these will all get you going up the ladder and make you more confident with your car and your car faster to make it more fun, which is what we're out here for. We're out here for fun.